Hello, this is Pat Howlett with ActiveHomeSellers.com. I'm really glad you, you landed on this page. Most of the time people are referred to us, um, but uh, I'm glad you're here. And uh, if you just see this page right now, this slide, um, this is there's the crowd, and that's who you're probably marketing to now. And what we're going to be able to help you do is pick out who is an active home seller, who in the crowd are doing activities, behaviors online that indicate that they are actively looking for information to sell their home or someone to help sell their home. So let's get started. If you knew this information, if you knew who was actively in market to sell their home before they contacted another broker or agent, before they even knew about you, would that give your company, uh, your real estate firm, an advantage over your competitors? Of course. Would you have listed more homes in the past if you knew this information? Yes, I would say. And could you list more in the future? And that's what we're all about, is helping you list more homes and get your message to the person, not the group. So here's the big thing. We work with data. And so one thing that you need to know is all browsing behavior and habits are being recorded by data companies. And if you think about it, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and many others, they're actually in the data sales business. And so they record and sell the data. And so it's no coincidence that the biggest email pro providers out there are companies like Google with Gmail and Microsoft with uh, with their inbox and their Outlook uh, products, that Facebook requires you to have an email address when you set up an account with them. Um, and so the, the, they're in the data sales business. It's also no coincidence that they also have the biggest advertising platforms. They also are the biggest in mobile. They also own the biggest assets in social media, etc. And so you first need to know that all those terms of services that you've had to do in order to get these, in order to get a Facebook profile or a LinkedIn profile or a Gmail account, we have a saying that goes like this. If you have a product or service that's free, you are the product or service. And so you just need to know that your data actually is out there for companies like ours that are third party partners with these data providers to, uh, to aggregate. Okay. So if we take this into Google and we say Google's pay per click works off of keyword relevancy, it's very, very good. So when somebody goes to Google and they type in sell my home, that's somebody that's closer towards the bottom of the uh, funnel. And it'd be great to be able to get your AdWords ad in front of them. Um, but it's rather expensive. You're forced to pay whatever the price is set in the market, and it gets really expensive for those best keywords, okay? And many times, people are typing in those words that really aren't in market. They may be just testing the market, okay? So you end up wasting a lot of money. With Facebook, same thing. Facebook has great data, interest-based uh, data, okay? So, but they're optimizing their conversions based on their internal data. Now, they do buy data out outside of the walled garden that's Facebook, but you're going to pay the prices. And if you know anything about real estate right now is most of your competitors are already using the same tools on Facebook that you're using. So there's no exclusivity. There's no differentiator. And we're going to bring that to you. Our whole focus is to help get you in front of the 3% of the market that's ready to take action now. They're researching, they're in research mode, they're going to a lot of different places, they're typing in a lot of different keywords. There's not one activity they're doing that, uh, that shows us. So you're gonna wanna stick around with me a little bit so I can show you what this looks like in the end, okay? But we're not interested in, in helping you get in front of people that may not be uh, thinking about it, that are indifferent, that aren't interested, that are uh, that are realtor, other realtors, that are, are renters. Okay, so we're interested in that 3%. That's what we call being in market. Things we know. So people, when I say people, I mean you and me and anybody out there, we do research when we're buying. We do research on, on Google and Bing. We do research in social media. We do research on Amazon to see who, what refer, what uh, recommendations and reviews are out there. And so certainly all major purchase decisions start with research. And so real estate is one of the biggest, um, decisions one can make. And so most of that is started online with research and people. So they start with their searches. Then they go to certain real estate sites. They're educating themselves on the process on who maybe is the local broker. Or is it a good time to sell? Or what do I need to know? Or can I do it myself without a realtor? They're searching for all those kinds of things. What a lot of folks don't know is all of those searches, all of those URL visits, all of that content they're consuming can and is tracked. And we're one of the companies that does that. Our data allows us to produce audience lists that you can use, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes, that you can use that are of real people, not of groups, but real people, that you can get your listing offer in front of who are in market searching 
right now. We do this by, in three ways. First of all, I talked about the, the, that there are these data companies, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, etc., that sell data. And there's a myriad of them that sell data. Well, we purchase that. We purchase that in-market data. And like I said, a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you what that looks like. In that, this first step, we purchase that data for you. The second thing we do is we put a smart pixel on your website that actually looks for anybody that's in that purchase data that lands to your website, and that will increase their score. The last thing we do, number three there, is we will we can take CRM uh, information from you. So let's say you've been collecting email addresses of people who downloaded that little lead magnet that you had out there, that little downloadable product or or your valuation kind of thing. But they, but they never responded back. They haven't done anything. You don't know who they are. They're anonymous. All you have is an email address, and you don't even know if that's a good email address. We'll upload those to our platform as well, and we will triangulate those three things in order to make sure that we get the best in-market prospect possible. And so when we do that, though, now we have these lists. Unlike what you can do in the past, we, can, we offer what's called multi- or omni-channel marketing. The people we're tracking and we're creating audiences of can be marketed multi-channel. By that, what I mean is right now you're probably creating audiences over in Facebook that you can only use in Facebook or in Google that you can only use in Google. Okay. You, if you had a great audience that over in Facebook that was converting, engaging and, and, and turning into profit to you, it's not like you can take that, export it from Facebook and upload it into Google in order to do uh, get display ads or AdWords in front of those folks. Each of those are exclusive to their own platforms and so they're limiting. Our data, on the other hand, can be moved from channel to channel. We create this data outside of Facebook and Google using some of their data, but then you can actually upload, and I'll show you this in just a minute, uh, you can actually upload our, da our data uh, and our audiences to Facebook. You can upload the same things to uh, Google, to LinkedIn, etc. We also, our platform is constantly doing closed feedback loop analysis. So our data is using machine learning to get smarter and smarter to know who converts over time. And we feed those conversions back into the system to even make our data even smarter. So as we move forward, we're not in a cloud. We're actually being able to start with the best data possible, the seed data, and make it better and better as we go forward. Here's the kinds of behaviors. When I talk about behaviors, here's the kinds of behaviors that we're tracking and we're building audiences from. So certainly there's the keyword search because we're buying that data from Google. Then there's the URL navigation. Where do they go? Do they go to realtor.com, truly at Zillow? Do they go to the sales pages there? Do they go to specific geographic areas there? We're tracking and, 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 and registering all of that information. Do they, did they, campaign responses? Did they request some information and get some information in? Again, there are email providers out there. Uh, content cons consumption. Are they going to Huffington Post, the Denver Post? Are they going to the Washington uh, Post? Are they going to the newspapers? Are they going to video sites? Are they going to YouTube and looking at real estate related sales web uh, videos? All of that, all of that can be tracked. We actually track in the Internet of Things or the Internet of Everything, we call it. We actually track 15 billion real time behaviors per day. We're right now tracking people that are trying to buy or sell a home, rather, in Colorado, in Orlando, any place in the United States our platform works within. Okay. So let's move forward. Once we tracked these folks and we've used the the data we purchase, we've used that smart pixel, and we've uploaded some data if you have some. Once we do that, we create a conversion profile. And so it's a lot different than what you'll do over in Facebook where you're getting a group of people who are homeowners in Denver or in Washington, D.C. that fit a certain age group. So it's more than just the demographic, the psychographic, the geographic. Uh, it's more than that. What we're doing is we're saying this, particular, this person typed in this keyword. They went to this URL. Then they went to this URL. Then they typed in this set of keywords that are relevant to selling a home. Then they did this on social media. Then they responded to these things. We're tracking hundreds or thousands of behaviors for them and we're scoring. We're giving a lead score. So for instance, if somebody just saw something in the, in the Huffington Post or the Washington Post or wherever on TV and they went to Google and they did one search on that uh, thing of hot real estate market in Denver. We're not tracking them at all. They're not going to be in our audience because they only need one thing. Okay. So what we do is we layer this information. We're going to provide a firm in your area, in your geographic area, uh, in the real estate space. 
we're going to provide them with an only factor. We work with exclusive to exclusivity. We're only going to work with one, folks. Here's what we got. Without looking at all the stuff you can see and you know in your personal and business life that technology is increasing at an incredibly fast pace. And so you have all of these things that have happened from when the internet came. But we have machine learning here. We'll get to artificial intelligence. We're at the machine learning. Our solution and our platform works in machine learning. Uh, and then we leverage the machine learning at Facebook when we upload audiences there or at Google when we upload audiences there. We're using the best and brightest minds possible in order to make sure we get you in front of the right folks. So again, we're going to market to the person, not the group. Since we know that all this browsing data is contextualized and we know this person, we can actually find out is this specific person actually in market to buy something? Are they in market because of their behaviors, their interests, their intent, what they're doing online to sell their home? Okay, most marketing right now that you're doing is marketing to interest groups. So again, people that live in a geographic area that are a certain economic bracket that uh, own a home, etc. Um, and you're doing that, and when you spend money at, at Facebook or Google, you're knowing that when you market to these people, some place in that group, are people that want to list their home, but you don't know who they are. It's anonymous. Uh, so sadly, most of your budget that you're spending on those platforms goes to people and gets ads in front of people that really don't want that ad in their feed. So they're, they're, you know, they kind of object to it. It's not pointed to them. And so they may do something negative like hide that ad, which will have an effect on your reach. But more importantly, they're just not interested and you're spending money to get in front of them. Plus, the audience you're using to get in front of them is the same audiences that other realtors are using to get in front of those f same folks. So you're, there's no difference. What we're after is just the 3%. Those interested in listing their home based on their online activities, their interests, and their behaviors. So here's a kind of different thing. When you're using Facebook's targeting, you have no idea outside of some of those parameters. Uh, are they between this age and this age? Do they live in this area? Are they a homeowner? How many credit cards do they have? Are they showing a, a likelihood to buy, uh, to sell or whatever? You have that in, on the right side here. But what we're interested in saying, right now we know that John Jones, Tony Allen, and Colleen DeVito, they are doing all kinds of activities right in this moment um, that show that they have a real interest in selling their home. Okay? So when I said multi-channel earlier, I'm really talking about being able to uh, take these audiences and advertise on Facebook, YouTube, Google, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we'll have email addresses that come out of this. We'll have addresses that come out of these folks. You're going to be amazed at the kind of data we put into it. And so here's the thing as a consumer. You're only getting advertising put in front of you of something that you've shown a real interest in. So cookies, everybody hears about cookies and pixels. But the problem with cookies and pixels is they're temporary. On Facebook, they only last 180 days, and sometimes the buying cycle is longer than that. You can only use a Facebook uh, audience on Facebook. You can't move it over to, to Google if it's performing well, and it's all anonymous. You can get some insights from using some of their insight tools, but it's still pretty anonymous. Well, ours, name, address, phone number, those kinds of things come from this, and you're going to be allowed to use that information and get your message in front of these folks, but it's permanent. You end up owning it. It's multi-channel. Move it around to any platform, and because it's a real person, we can actually match this and make it accountable. So in, uh, in, in, in short, what we're going to do is we're going to take their path through purchase, what they're doing online, what did they search for, where did they go. We're going to take the smart pixel that we put on the site, we're going to create that conversion profile. We're going to be using closed loop analysis and we're going to out, uh, output an in market lead. So uh, just to summarize a little bit, and then I'm going to show you a couple of examples here. We're going to get higher conversion rates at a lower cost for cost per click, co uh, click through rate, cost per action. All of those are going to benefit. Since we already track over 125 million hashes, keep in mind, that means 125 million people. We also buy data from the largest capture companies, Google keyword searches. We, ha we have in our database over 5 billion web URLs that we, we get the traffic of people going in and out of that. And this is all matched back to an individual person that you can market to on all channels. We're going to use closed loop analysis in order to make sure that our data gets smarter and smarter and better and better. And so let's just go ahead and take a, a, a look at an example of what we're talking about. Okay, this is the back end of our platform. It's not meant to be pretty. It's for data geeks like me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just walk you through how we put this together. We're going to go ahead and use drill down words, so keywords that you would normally have to spend money on or either getting SEO put together 
or in AdWords, we're going to go in and, and, and track these words that are used at Google. And as somebody types those in, we're going to start tracking their journey, their buyer's journey. Okay. We're going to also take, we have about 1100 words here. So this would be property for sale, um, where to sell my house. Should I sell my house myself? Real estate agent, sell your house fast. These are terms that only somebody that was had an interest in selling their home would be interested in. Now let's say it's another realtor typing these terms, just to, they're doing some research. We're going to exclude them from the audience later on. So the excludes are equally as important as the includes. Okay. In this case, this is Colorado. And so we grabbed all 662 zip codes across the state, but our technology works in any state in any area. So wherever you are, uh, we can actually uh, help you. Okay. So the first thing I want you to see is we're using specific keywords to type. So no one would be on our list unless they type those keywords and they're also not on our audiences unless they live in those areas. Okay. We also use that onboarding data where we can upload email addresses that you have and we have a smart pixel that we actually uh, load to your website. Here's the thing. So the first week, this is in December, 2017, I put in an order for this data and the first week I got 10,078 hashes, individual email addresses. I want you to think of those as people. The next week it gets a little smarter. Now people come in and out of market. Okay. So, but it gets a little, our data is, is built to get a little smarter using the machine learning uh, algorithms we have in place. So we have 11,677. The next week it's here and we're buying data in January, February going forward. So I just wanted you to look at, at that. Then I want to show you what that looks like. So what is, when I'm saying with this data and hashes, what does it look like? These are called SHA-256, SHA-256 codes. Basically think of this as an email address. It's a way to make your email address private. So it encrypts to this. So this easily could be my email address. And you can see in this category, we're giving it a lead score. We only take things from a five and above. Again, that stops anybody that's just kind of doing a cursory look today because they saw something on TV about selling their home and how hot the market is. They're not going to hit our list. Now, when we get to sevens and you'll see some sevens here, these are people that are very hot. A seven and above is somebody that we need to get an ad, a, a, a great ad in front of. But you can see that there are thousands, literally thousands of, of folks that we can get in front of that's so much better than the audience you would get from Facebook. And again, we can use this on Facebook. What does this look like when we append this data? So this is Colorado again. If you're in California, North Carolina, New Jersey, wherever, any place in the U.S., we can work with you. Uh, and we do work exclusively. But what this does is I, I'm going to get the email address. I'm going to get 100% of the hashes. I'm going to get a, a good percentage of email addresses, the person's first and last name, what their street address is, um, it, what their... Uh, and so here's the thing. When we talk multi-channel, I want you to know that for this, I can upload that to Facebook, Google, and other advertising platforms and get in front of them. For this, I can put these, these folks into a nurturing campaign because not everybody's ready. To, it's just because you're in market doesn't mean you're ready to buy right now. It just means you're in market. So we can actually get them in a nurturing email campaign over a period of time that continue to show them value and that we need to be an option when they go to uh, list their home. Uh, we're also going to get their names so we can be personal. We're going to be able to send them a postcard or a mailing piece if we want to. Now, we don't provide you with a phone number, but there's a way for us to help you leverage that as well. Okay. So, but you can look at this. This is, that's Arvada. Here's Aurora. There's Boulder, Broomfield, Castle Rock, Colorado Springs, Denver, Inglewood. This is one week of data. Now, do you think that your business would probably, that you'd do more listings if you had this level of data of people? That's Pueblo. We also do this. We break this down based on county to the, uh, to the uh, real estate firm that has that exclusive relationship with us. Okay. So, Let's, um, let me just look right here. This is an exclusive offer. Okay. So there's only one realtor in any specific real estate market that we're going to work with. They're going to have this, what we would consider an unfair competitive advantage over their uh, competitors. And uh, this is a way to lock out somebody that's in your area. If you're currently number five or six or seven in your market, this is an opportunity to become number one, two, or three in your market. So if you're, if this seems of interest and you'd like to, uh, uh, learn a little bit more. Why don't you just go ahead and click on the, the, the button below, uh, schedule a discovery call with me. Um, I guarantee you it won't be any hard sell. We, I can only sell this to one person in Denver or one person in Orlando or one person in Raleigh or whatever. So, and we know that we'll sell out so that you'll find me to be a, it'll be an enjoyable and educational phone call and visit. 
And so I look forward to talking to you and hope this uh, made sense and helps. Bye for now.